Hello geometry students, welcome back to geometry. Um, today we talk about uh, special right triangles. Uh, this is very common in geometry and on the ACT test, uh, so it's very important to know. Uh, the first special right triangle we're going to look at is a 45-45-90. What that means is you have a right triangle, right, and it's either an isosceles right triangle or, you know, the two base angles are congruent. Now, over here, I have two isosceles right triangles. One has a, a leg of four. What we're going to do is say, if this leg is four, this leg is four. And now, if we use Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse, right, we would get 16 plus 16 is 32 equals h squared. And when you take the square root of both sides, you get h equals the square root of 32, which simplifies to root 16 times root 2, which is 4 root 2. So we get a hypotenuse of 4 root 2. Now, over here, we have a leg of 3. If we use Pythagorean theorem, this is 3 because the legs are congruent. All right, we use Pythagorean theorem. 3 squared plus 3 squared equals hypotenuse squared. So you get 9 plus 9 is 18 equals hypotenuse squared. H equals the square root of 18. And when we simplify this, root 9 times root 2, you get 3 root 2. Now, if you notice the pattern here, each time I use Pythagorean theorem on an isosceles right triangle, doesn't the hypotenuse always end up being the length of the leg times the square root of 2? All right, that is something that's, uh, that is a pattern that we recognize in um, isosceles right triangles. So, what we say is if we have a 45, 45 right triangle, okay, what we do is we label the two legs M, and then we know the length of the hypotenuse will always be the length of the leg M times the square root of 2. All right, now what does this mean? Well, in number 1 here, all right, I know because these angles are congruent, these sides would be congruent, and I could go use Pythagorean theorem. But if I label the sides M, M, M root 2, right, if this side is 9, we know this side would be 9. And then, if m is equal to 9, then we know this side is going to be 9 root 2. Okay? So, number 2. We look. Legs can grow. Right? If this side is 2 root 2, we know this side is going to be 2 root 2. So we have m. Side opposite 45 is m. Side opposite 45 is m side opposite 90 or the hypotenuse is m root 2. So in this case, we know m is equal to 2 root 2. So now, to find the length of the hypotenuse, I would substitute 2 root 2 in for m. So 2 root 2 times this square root 2, and that would give us 2 times. Root 2 times root 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4 that hypotenuse would be 4. So this is just an easier way to uh, find the sides of a uh, right triangle if you have a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Now, number 3. This is where the algebra gets a little chaotic. I don't know a leg here. So I'm going to label this side M, this side M, and this side M root 2. Now what I have to notice here is I'm given the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is equal to um, m root 2. So what we have to do is set up an equation. m root 2 equals the length of the hypotenuse, which is 6. Now in order to find the length of each leg, we have to solve for m. Now what do I do to solve for m? I divide by the square root of 2. Those cancel out. And we get m equals 6 over root 2. But if you remember, do we like radicals in the denominator? No. So what do we do? We multiply numerator and denominator by the square root of 2. So this will give us 6 root 2 all over root 2 times root 2 is 2. And if you notice, these outside numbers can reduce. 6 divided by 2 is 3 root 2. <coughs> Once I know m, that's going to be the length of each leg. Alright, so 
So that's a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. And remember, the side opposite 45 of them, the side opposite 45 of them, the side opposite 90 is going to be M root 2. Okay? Now the next one we have is the 30, 60, 90. Very common on ACT. So make sure you know it. So if that's a 90 degree angle, we're going to call this the 30 degree angle. And this the 60 degree angle. Now, in a 30-60 right triangle, the pattern ends up being the side opposite 30. We're going to label it as M. The side opposite 60. We are going to label it M root 3. And the side opposite 90, or the hypotenuse in this case, would be 2M. Okay. Now, I could go through a bunch of examples of you know where the pattern comes from but after doing the 45 45 90 I'm assuming we could recognize that there's going to be a pattern so what does this mean well now when we have a 30 60 90 right triangle and you cannot assume every triangle is a 30 60 90 what I have to do is locate the 30 degree angle and label the side opposite M the 60 degree angle label the side opposite M root 3 locate the 90 degree angle side opposite 2m. Now when I look at the side I'm given, right, I'm given the shortest side which means m right away is equal to 12. But once I know the value of m I can find the side opposite 60 by doing substituting 12 in for m. So y would be 12 root 3 and x would be 2 times 12 which is 24. And those are the lengths to the sides of the triangle. All right. In number five, okay, so our opposite 30, label M, opposite 60, M root 3, side opposite 90, 2M. Notice the side I have, is it M? No, it's 2M. So that's where I set up my equation and solve for M. When I solve for M here, divide by 2, we get m equals 4. Once I know what m is, right, opposite 30 is going to be m, so that's 4. Opposite 60 is going to be m root 3, so substitute 4 in for m, and that side would be 4 root 3. All right. Now, the next one, number 6. All right, I'm given the side opposite 60. So, Opposite 30 is M. Opposite 60, we're going to say is M root 3. Opposite 90 is 2M. Well, if M root 3 equals 3 root 3, there's my equation. And I have to solve this equation for M in order to find the other side. So what do I do? Divide by root 3, divide by root 3. Those eliminate. And those actually eliminate. So M is equal to 3. Well, once I know m, y is equivalent to m, so y is going to be 3. And then x is going to be 2 times 3, which gives you 6. Okay, number 7. Again, label the sides. m, m root 3, and 2m. So where's my equation I have to solve? Right here. Is that the value of m? No. At the value of m root 3. So we have to set up an equation. m root 3 equals 12. To solve for m, I divide by root 3. So m equals 12 divided by square root 3. But I don't like that because it has a radical in the denominator. So rationalize it by multiplying numerator and denominator by root 3. And you end up with 12 root 3 all over 3. 3 times root 3 times root 3 is 3. Now these outside numbers can simplify. 12 divided by 3 is 4 root 3. So right now we have the value of m is 4 root 3. So d is going to be m, which is 4 root 3, and f is going to be 2 times 4 root 3, which would give you 8 root 3. All right. Now, 
as we look at it. The next problems are just utilizing this also. Number eight, find the length of the legs of a 30, 60, 90 triangle with a hypotenuse of the length 4 root 3. So if I draw a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, they tell me the hypotenuse is 4 root 3. So I label the other angles 30 and 60. And I label opposite 30 is M, opposite 60 is M root 3, opposite 90 is 2M. So this right here is where I set up my equation. So 2M equals 4 root 3. How do I solve for M? I divide by 2. And M equals these outside numbers simplify to 2 root 3. So opposite 30, 2 root 3. Opposite 60 is going to be 2 root 3 times this square root 3. So 2 times root 3 times root 3 is root 9, which simplifies 2, 3, and 2 times 3 is 6. So the lengths of the other legs are 2 root 3 and 6. The next one. Find the length of a diagonal of a square whose sides are 9 feet long. If I draw a square and then I construct a diagonal, now think about a square. When I construct one diagonal, all right, what type of triangle do, or does this break it up into? Well, if these sides are congruent, isn't it going to be an isosceles right triangle, which is a 45, 45, 90? So if the sides are 9, right, instead of using Pythagorean theorem, if I highlight this right triangle, Right? And I label the sides m, m, m root 2. Well, you know m is equal to 9. So the hypotenuse here, or the diagonal, is equal to 9 root 2. Okay? Finally, the longer leg of a 30, 60, 90 right triangle has a length of 18. Now, you have to pay attention to the vocabulary in this problem. It says, the longer leg is 18. Well, if you remember, right, the two sides that make up the right angle are the legs. Now, the longer leg, remember, from triangle inequality, the smaller the angle, the smaller the, smaller the side opposite. The bigger the angle, the bigger the side opposite. So when I look at the two legs, because 60 degrees is a bigger angle, the side opposite is going to be the longer leg. All right. So now we can go and set up M, M root 3, and 2M. So do I have to solve for M? Yes. I'm going to solve M root 3 equals 18. Divide by root 3. M equals 18 divided by the square root of 3. We have to rationalize here. Multiply by root 3 over root 3. You get 18 root 3 over 3, which will simplify these outside numbers to 6 root 3. So M is equal to 6 root 3. So the shorter leg would be 6 root 3. And the hypotenuse would be 2 times 6 root 3, which is going to give you 12 root 3. Alright, hopefully this is good enough for you guys to, you know, uh, have a chance to do the homework successfully. We'll see you in class tomorrow. Thank you.